Alright guys, we're back. We've been exiled to the basement and I kind of prefer it that way. How about you? It's a lot quieter. Yep, we got the poker table set up because my wife's a gambling freak and unfortunately we have a casino down the street, so who knows what that'll do for us. But anyway... Better not take away from our beer supply. That's right. No, that they're, won't not, they're not cutting the beer budget. Oh, that's right. Hey, welcome to DJ's Brew Tube. That's right. And uh, we're going to drink some beers tonight. Um, it's New Year's Eve. and 2012. And we have pledged to drink no shitty beer tonight. So it's all going to be good beer, no junk, no freaking ass pumpkin beer, none of that. No Christmas ale. Although I might, after we drink everything tonight, force you to drink that last pumpkin. I got more pumpkin than that, as we saw oh, in the beer that. cave, unfortunately, <laughs> but that'll be my punishment, my cross of bear. So anyway, what do we got to today, Johnny? Well, you know, making that trip down to Florida, I brought back another Cigar City Brewing Company, and we have Maduro Brown Ale. It is uh, oatmeal brown ale, 5.5% alcohol, my volume, uh, is that 25 IBUs? Um, Really nice uh, nose to this. Um, I picked up on you know the nice sweet malt flavors. Uh, you know there's a little bit of fruit in there, but overall really nice aroma. Maybe I still have some you know smell buds or whatever you want to tell them. Taste Olfactory yeah, abilities. Yeah, right now that might go away as the night goes on, but. After you drink all those 10 and 12 percent ABV beers. <laughs> yes. But this is a great session beer. Uh, you know, I, yep. I, had, I had about bought a six pack of this when I was down there. Definitely wanted to bring one of these home, drink five of them during the tournament. But uh, I really enjoy it. Um, I give it an A minus. I, I do like Cigar Cities, makes some pretty good stuff. And I mm -hmm. still get a whole fridge full of it, of Cigar City. So, but the. This is definitely a good, good brown ale. Yeah, I'd say as yeah, like session as session beers go, man, it's really good. It has a real nice mouth feel to it because they put the oatmeal in there. Yeah, the it, creaminess. The the only brown that I've liked better than this has been Surly, and I give I gave that like an A minus, I think. Also, I'm I'm gonna go with the A minus on this too. There's no alcohol taste at all in it, man. You could slam these back to back to back, and it would pair well with a lot of food. So I'm going with the A minus too, man. I think we should. Yeah, especially finally. some old laundry. Old clothes. Yeah, <laughs> ropa vieja. If you daring to eat some of your old shirts or anything like that, you know, go ahead, feel free, have a Maduro brown ale. I know I, some people I'd like to tell to eat my shorts, but that's another story, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, on let's slam this because we've got a whole bunch left to drink. Cheers. Cheers. Happy New Year's. Ah, beer. We'll be back in a bit. Guys, we're back. Yeah, it is on video because we're taking a video. We're not taking dumb pictures. Of drinking beer. Anyways, guys, we're back and we got a special beer from DJ Cellar. We got 2011 Duclaw Oak Age Bourbon Barrel Age, whatever the hell you want to call it, Double Black Lightning. But this is New Year's 2012. What the heck? Well, we're not drinking oh, shitty wait. beer this year. Is it really New Year's 2012 or is it New Year's Eve 2012, New Year's 2013? I don't know, but I know one thing. We're not going to drink any shitty beer tonight. No. Only good beer. Now, the first time I had this beer was at the Maryland Craft Beer Festival. And he was cronked. And I was cronked. And I was, even though I was cronked, I actually remember drinking this beer and said, i got to find me a bottle of it. Well, luckily... He found Duclo himself, too. Exactly. Duclaw got rid of their distributor, and lo and behold, appears said cases of beer. So, when I drank this at the festival, it was really hoppy. It was in your face. It's a double black IPA is what the beer is, bourbon barrel aged. But now, what do you think of it, Johnny? Uh, I have a lot of words to describe it. You have nine minutes? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it quick and easy. It's not hoppy. Not anymore. It tastes like a bourbon barrel stout. Mm -hmm. It is has nice glass lacing. It is very good. It is a very good New Year's Eve brew. The smell, when I pop the bottle, pop the bottle. Is that like popping the cherry? And, I'm not going there. A anyway, yes. The char, I smelled a lot of char there. Nice smoked, but you know, that's a lot of their smokiness coming from there. Mm -hmm. 
uh, some some maltiness, some smokiness comes out of there. Not a lot of the not a lot of the hops. It's been sitting in the bourbon barrel. It's been sitting in the bottle for over a year or so. Now drinking it, that was totally different. It was it, like I said, it was it was like a stout uh, that's been sitting in a bourbon barrel. Not like a Bourbon County Stout, KBS, nothing like that. A little bit thin, I do have to say, on the mouth, uh, but it coated and it warmed me up on the end. However, the sneakiness came in at the very end. The hoppiness came back out and gave a little bit of hoppiness to the to your mouth and actually let it warmed up a little bit. And that's a really nice feeling of that warmness going down your throat and the hoppiness. It, it's 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 really well balanced that way. So definitely this is one to seller. DJ's telling me it's a hop it's a hop slam type beer when it's fresh. Mm -hmm. I I might enjoy that in 2013 if we go to the Maryland Festival, but you know, right now I definitely enjoy this. Um to me, you know, it, it's hard I'd like to give it an A. I want to give it an A minus, uh, just because uh, you know it's it's an IPA. I guess I want more hops in this for an IPA, but I don't know what to call it after a year. So after all my nine minutes are up, <laughs> I'm gonna drink. You can talk. Like Johnny said, when this is new, I had it fresh. You feel all the 85 IBUs in this beer, 100%. It's a real dank hop that you taste in it when it's really new and it's up front in your face and the bourbon plays more of a background sort of level. When you cellar this beer, the bourbon takes more of the forefront, but that dank hops is still in the finish. So, you know what? It's When it starts out at 7.7% .7 ABV, but I'm sure this is more around like an 8%, maybe 8.2% now as the beers continue to work. I've cellared at the proper temperature, and to me, I'm going to give it an A. And the reason we're probably differing in our grades is because... Because we're different people. <laughs> different people and I know where this unfortunately Johnny didn't have it fresh I know where this beer started well oh, bite me anyways um, or drink this <laughs> yes on the back here one important thing drink. about Duke Law beers it tells you to respect the fluid that means this is a real sneaky beer okay is that enough respect <laughs> Exactly. So, what do the other guys grade this? You know, I'm saying an A, Johnny's saying an A minus. Rate Beer, they give it a 91, which is eh, like an A minus. And Beer Advocate hasn't had enough people review it yet to give a grade. Yes, they were about dog heads haven't gone on there. I, I did that. the I did the numbers and it's about 93, so they're giving it an A. But this is a real limited production beer. I only know them making this twice, from what I can tell. So. Awesome beer. I give it an A. He's giving it an A minus. Remember, no shitty beer tonight. We're going on to another good one. We'll be back in a minute. Peace out. We're back, fuckers. That's right. We're drinking more beer. And that's right. Remember what we said. No what, Johnny? He's been rendered speechless by this beer because we're not drinking any shitty beer tonight. And what do we got up next? We got Oma Gang, Three Philosophers. Oh my 2011. God! 2011 vintage. What did What did you think about this one, John? Well, okay, come on, give it to him straight, beer geek. It is Three Philosophers. It is a what? Not a one, not a two, not a three, but a quad. Excellent. So, now that, oh man, the damn light. Um, the, looks like we got 9% uh, AB, 0.7 ABV per volume, you know, oh. so we're getting the beer geek stats here, 19 IBUs. You know, oh, where's Oma Gang out of? You want to go to the beer? Geek you know, thing? well, Cooperstown, New York, by the for, way. For guys. all your Natty Bo fans out there that happen to be OEOs fans, of course, you know, they did real good, you know, compared to when I we did that. Uh, Natty Bo and I slammed the O's pretty bad. Yes. Uh, you know, they went about as far as my Nat and Nulls did. So, but, oh well. It's at the Hall of Fame, or at least next door, or around the corner, or down the street, or in the same town as Cooperstown. So, if you're up to going to visit the Baseball Hall of Fame, which I know he's not, 
but I know he might go to the brewery instead. Oh my God, brewery! I didn't even so, go to the baseball hall of fame just to go to the brewery, <laughs> but um, I'm a team player. Right off the bat, very nice. Oh, let me tell you, it's like 98% uh, uh, ale and 2% cherries, which surprised the crap out of him yesterday. So. Um, I bought it. I didn't even look. The fruit. I, I have actually passed this up <clears throat> quite a bit. I don't know why. Now that I've drank it, but you get a lot of the dark fruit. You can smell the cherry right off the bat, and mm, you can taste that. You can taste the cherry. Actually, taste that cherry. At least I can. I don't know about him, but um, you know, I, I definitely give this an A uh, for a triple or. <laughs> Quad. Say it with me. Quad. Uno, dos, tres, quad. So, you know, it, it, it's it's a very good quad. I, I really like this. I'm definitely going to go and uh, get this from the store the next time I find it. Um, but, yeah, it, it's to me, it's, it's very good. So, I'm going to do the stun drinking. <clears throat> DJ's going to take over with the geek. Exactly. Look, when we pour this, guys, it's... It's not as like a ruddy, dark, sort of river water, apple cider looking beer like a lot of them are. In quad territory, this is a more clear beer. It's, it's more of a reddish, sort of uh, hazy cherry? red color. color? Maybe, that, yeah, probably because of cherries. They, they use, I, I can't cherries. remember, but they, they, use cherries. they use a lot of them too. Mm -hmm. You can remember quads fermented four, four times. You've got a lot of ingredients in this beer. You can definitely taste the Belgian yeast strain in this. and. It's just got a lovely nose too. I mean, it's that that candy sugar cherry Gargle thing. It. it really brings out the cherry. He's digging that, man. But <laughs> yes, he may be cut off after this beer. No way. We've got some good stuff coming. We got some big ass <laughs> beers coming, even bigger than this. So you think we're crunk really, now? You it wait. It really brings out the cherry. I mean, when you gur do it and comment. Gur gargle, gurgle, Don't and and comment because you uh, taste the cherry. Seriously, man. Uh, oh, that's good. That's that's a new way of reviewing beer. Gurgling. So <coughs> it's a year-round serving, guys. Um, if you can get it, buy it. Um, I've had this new aged for a year, like most quads. It's even better. Um, this is it's a much more integrated beer and that cherry flavor like when you first get this new it's sort of disjunct and out there but now man when you drink into this beer it's just like really smooth and um, I'm gonna give this one an A how about you man I think I gave him an A already did you yeah oh see how much the freaking beer geek doesn't listen to the stun drinker because he's so annoyed with the stun drinker gurgling the beer what do the other guys give it not like the people watching give a shit but Oh, I'll have to leave it. Oh, yes, yeah, so let's see. Um, let's see. Beer Advocate gives it a 99. And, That's good. No, actually, Beer Advocate gives it a 92, and Rape Beer gives it a 99. So. <laughs> Rape Beer gives everything a 99. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I don't know how much they hold water. But anyways, me, I'm giving it a straight up A. Johnny's giving it an A. And, damn, i got to finish this. we got to go drink another beer. Hold yeah. on. Oh. Gurgle. We'll be back in a flash. We are back and on oh. an expedition for expedition? some spout. Stout. Spout. We're yes. on our expedition for the You're year. probably on the expedition to spout later. 2013. To, oh, 2013. Oh, that's right the next year. Yeah, it's like in like two hours, eh? <sighs> Shit. Anyways, tonight we got, for our next beer up, we've got Bell's Expedition Stout. Which is of their UA series, which is an unlimited aging or meant to be seller. And this is He's a 10 Barry point. Weather Lewis. <laughs> and I'm, uh, what's the Chevy Chase and Clark? I'm Clark. Clark W. Griswold. <laughs> yes. Holiday Room. Barry Lewis and Clark Griswold. <sighs> they, they founded like the, you know, that Louisiana Purchase thing. That's when, that's when Clark Griswold, I mean, uh, Chevy Chase had a career. Yeah. Anyways, Christy Brinkley. Exactly. This is a 10.5% American stout, or I guess it's an imperial stout. It's a big one. Um, it's, hmm, 
to me, it's a little young right now. It has a lot of strong flavors. You get dark fruits, coffee, toffee, caramel. But you can taste that this beer was designed to buy in a six pack, drink a couple few, and then put a, some way to like a side to sell it. Wow, you've correctly described my six pack. Yes, his six pack. And that means I go over to his house and say, hey, beer buddy, hook me up with some of your brew. Yeah. Anyways. I'm going to let you talk. I think it's good. I mean, it's a, it's a tasty beer. It's got a lot of really good flavors in it. There's vanilla, toffee. I got some caramel, coffee, some milk chocolate. And I think over time, what would happen is it would be less alcohol forward because it's a little boozy right now, I think. Um, and it's kind of hot. They even say that on the bottle. Yeah. And they say, don't drink it young. Sell it. Right. But we're drinking it young <laughs> because you got to have some kind of perspective, sort of. Yeah. But it's not a bad beer young, don't get me wrong. But I think in time, it'll be definitely a better beer. And they've priced it right because it's not that, I don't know, it's like... Yeah, it was free for me. It was yeah, Christmas. Yeah, he got it for Christmas. Present. I think, if, I, if memory serves, this is like twelve ninety nine for a six. Which isn't bad considering it's ten and a half percent beer. I mean that's that's big boy beer putting hair on your cojones kind of beer. So anyways, what do the other guys think about this? Rate beer gives it a hundred. Oh what a surprise! They give every fucking beer like ninety eight and one hundred. You but you guys got to check your shit and get it right. Um, beer Advocates gives it a ninety three. And you know what? Knowing that it's a beer to be cellared and taking things into perspective, I don't know if I can go ninety three. But I can give it a 90, like 91, A minus. Thank you. Johnny doesn't like numbers. We're going to go A minus myself. Um, however, this has a lot of potential to be an A beer. Yes. And with that, I will say, Young, I'm giving it a B plus. Uh, B and plus, waiting, damn. And waiting just, for Just right out there with a fucking B plus. Yeah, I will. Damn. Not even an explanation, just ugh. B plus. Uh, because you gave the freaking explanation, the nine minutes of my airtime. Um, That's I'm, I'm, a, I'm a greedy beer geek whore. There, there you go. So, um, but yeah, no, I, I, I agree. It, it's very young um, for a stout. Um, you know, we've let it warm up to temperature. But look at that glass, Lacey. Oh, the, okay. Yeah, but I'm I'm not <laughs> licking the glass lacing just for the fucking glass lacing. I'm drinking the beer for the beer. And right now, it's a little bit young. I'm going to give it time. I've got four of them left, and I will be partaking in one of these maybe in six months. Nine and I will months, be knocking for Kate at your door. Hello! Let me have some of that beer! I'm not in right now. So, but yeah, it's a strong B+. Plus, you know, weak A-. minus. How about that? It's right there on the edge. I'll give it an 89. And so, uh, you know, that's that was like a B plus in my day. So, but he's old. You know, I'm so gonna I. I'm gonna continue to drink instead of yak because I rather drink. So right from Kalamazoo to your doorstep, this should still be around. It's their winter serving. Next one up from that is our buddy Hop Slam from these guys, and we'll be having Johnny go hit the store up hopefully because they don't have bells in around here in Maryland, but they got it in Virginia. So remember, 10.5% ABV, 70 IBUs. Don't let the young taste fool you. Get some of these, sell it, at least buy two at your bottle shop, and we'll be back with an even bigger beer next. See you in a minute.